let's get happy today on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich and I am about to make you very happy. Is it your birthday? Is it your anniversary? Is it a happy new year? Whatever you're celebrating, this chocolate cake with a decadent chocolate icing is out of this world. Now, this is the recipe I've most enjoyed in my life. It's from my mom's recipe box. Uh, and I also like the versatility of this recipe. You should feel confident making this recipe in small rounds as we are to make a stacked cake. But you could also do this recipe in a sheet pan if you want to do the slab version. You could also put little paper cups into a muffin tin if you want to make chocolate cupcakes with chocolate icing. Are you ready to get started? Let's begin and make the chocolate cake. The making of the actual chocolate cake starts with us taking pans. I'm using 8 inch rounds and we start by tracing and cutting parchment paper in circles. Butter the bottom of both pans, then add the parchment paper. Now we go back with a little bit more butter all the way up the sides as well. A tiny bit of flour. We've now buttered and floured our pans. We can set them to the side. Now we're going to head to stovetop and we begin by turning our oven on to 325 degrees. We're also taking a small pan, we're adding 3 quarters of a cup of water, bring it to a boil, and then we're adding half a cup of sifted cocoa powder. We're going to stir this together, the water is going to get hot, the cocoa will dissolve, make sure you scrape the sides of the pan. Now that it's hot, we're taking it off of the heat and we're going to let it cool. Next part in the cake recipe is to assemble the dry ingredients into a bowl. We're adding one cup of sifted cake flour, two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and then last ingredient is two teaspoons of an instant coffee. This is that old school combination, cinnamon, coffee, chocolate. Stir the dry ingredients together. Now we sift them into a medium sized bowl. I'm taking my finger and I'm creating a little well in the middle of the dry ingredients. We're then taking a quarter cup of vegetable oil. We're adding that in. Right about now, your chocolate mixture should be cool. We're pouring that into the well. Make sure you have a spatula. You don't want to miss any of this incredible chocolate flavor. Last thing, three eggs. We're separating the eggs. The whites go to the side. We're placing the egg yolks into the middle of that well in the dry ingredients. Hand mixer, start off slow on low. You can increase the speed a little bit until we create a smooth batter. This is done. Set it to the side. We're going to wash our beaters. Now, we bring our egg whites into frame uh, and we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar into the egg whites. Hand mixer goes slow and as soon as the egg whites get foamy or sudsy, we're taking a third of a cup of granulated sugar little by little. So just a little bit, keep beating the eggs a little bit more, keep beating your egg whites. Add a little bit more, continue to beat and pretty soon our egg whites are going to take some serious shape. We're looking for stiff peaks and when we see them, hand mixer is done. Bring the batter back in frame. We have a spatula. We're going to take some egg whites a little bit, fold it in gently back and forth. We're going to continue to add those egg whites and fold them. I love the color of this chocolate cake batter. It's fantastic. Now we take our pans. We're going to divide the batter between the two pans. I think this is kind of an important step. Take your pan and just kind of hit it on the counter. All the air bubbles pop up. You know your cake is good to go. We're transferring them into the oven. We're going to bake for 30 minutes. I take a cake tester and test. Bring the cake out of the oven. We're going to let them cool for about 15 minutes in the pan before we invert them. Discard the parchment rounds. Let the cakes cool completely before you assemble your cake. Now to be able to assemble the cake, you need an incredible chocolate buttercream icing. That's up next. I've learned a couple of things making this cake over the years. Most important thing to me is to make sure the butter is at room temperature before you start. We're not talking about bringing it out of the fridge for a few moments. I like to leave it out overnight. And now when I place one cup of butter at room temperature into a medium sized bowl, you can see how soft it is. We're going to continue by adding a couple of additional ingredients. We have three and a half cups of icing sugar, 
half a cup of sifted cocoa powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then the other thing that makes this buttercream creamy, you need three tablespoons of 35% cream. With the ice ingredients in the bowl, we're taking a hand mixer. We're just slowly going to bring our icing together. Uh, if you feel the icing is a little too soft, add a tiny bit more icing sugar. If you think it's a bit too thick, you can add a little bit more cream. You're looking for that perfect consistency. I think it needs to be soft, a little bit glossy and creamy. Once your icing is to your liking, we're ready to ice this cake. I think if you're gonna go through the trouble and make a homemade cake, this is it. And this is why it's all about when you go to ice it. I have a Lazy Susan. I like working on a Lazy Susan because I can spin the cake. I have a glass plate that I invert. And first thing I'm doing is taking small strips of parchment paper and I lay four strips kind of to the edge of the glass plate. Then uh, when you place your cake on and you start icing, you'll be able to take that parchment away and you won't make a mess of your plate when you're icing. First thing then is we take some icing and we drop it dollop on the middle of your presentation plate and now you take your first round of cake and place it into the center. Now a little bit more of the icing, we're going to smear it on top of that first round of cake, bring it right to the edge, right to the edge and do a nice smooth layer, make sure it's evenly distributed. We take our second cake, it goes on top, back with more icing, now we're starting all the way, icing across the top, right to the edge, evenly across. And now when you take icing on the palette, we're slowly just gonna keep spinning the plate until you have a very smooth kind of finish on the outside. Take your time with this. There's no reason to rush uh, unless you unless everybody's at the door and you're like, I didn't get the cake done. But really just take your time. You're gonna smooth the icing out until the cake is perfectly covered to your liking and then you're ready to enjoy. Now, if you want to serve it the way I most enjoy it, we're taking our cake knife, our cake lifter. <laughs> when you lift up this piece of cake, you're going to lift from the bottom. The cake is so moist, the icing is so fabulous, and you place it onto a plate. How about a tub of vanilla ice cream? Grab a scoop. We're going to add a scoop of ice cream. And because this is a celebration, last step, we're making chocolate crack into a double boiler. Four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, four two tablespoons of coconut oil. Mix them together. They're going to get nice and hot. And now when you take the chocolate crack and you ladle it over that ice cream, tiny sprinkle of kosher salt. It instantly hardens so that when you take your fork and you hit it, it cracks, everything is perfect, and the crowd goes wild. Now, we gave you a reason to celebrate. All you need to do is make this incredible chocolate cake with chocolate icing. You will be amazed. Looking to be amazed with other things? Why not head to our website, weekendatthecottage.com, subscribe to it while you're there. Look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel, subscribe to it as well, please. And then finally, why not post pics of all your celebrations on your favorite social media networks like Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. One bite of this cake, and I'll tell you one thing, mm, you'll be happy, happy, happy! Come on back and visit again soon. Take care. Mm.